Yo, yo, Shayla, what's happening, baby? Ghani, what's up, homie? Just broke that fast, man. Just broke my fast with the juice. Cleansing. I get back from picking Alexis up from school. We need to get her for her actual rehearsal. Wait till you get back. Health and hustle all day long. That's what's so. I'm drinking two juices right now. I'm finna drink the rest of this. Knock this down. Just came off my fast. Uh, feeling good. Had some great uh, meetings today. <clears throat> and I was talking today. I don't know if y'all was on the live earlier, man. I was over there. Uh, we had to go see this office space over there. I was a little all over the place uh, earlier today. That's why I was just going live again. But... It was so deep because um, what we was talking about is we was talking about uh, <clears throat> like you got to have structure to get, you know what I'm saying, to get some paper. In order to get some paper, you got to be structured. It was deep. I even took some notes on it. Let me see. It was so deep because he was breaking it down about getting some money. In order to get some money, you got to have that structure, man. That structure is everything. So they was breaking it down about how money follows structure. You know what I'm saying? And money grows in structure. And it's uh, repeatable in systems. That's what's so crazy. What up, the Hustle Code? We up in the building. Yeah, what's happening? What's happening? The Hustle Code, man. Y'all know what it is. We wave at everybody who in the building. What's happening? If y'all there, we wave it. We hitting them with the president wave. Yeah. I'm off the juices right now. Um, I'm going to consume some food in a little bit, but right now I'm off them juices, man. And this is watermelon, cilantro, celery, um, aloe, uh, aloe vera, charcoal, uh, lemonade. I got everything mixed in these, in these juices. Cuz, what's happening, man? Two guns up right now. You feel me? Chuck, what's happening? 1,000 in the building. Yeah, man. King Tate for president. That's my baby. Love you. Yeah, that's right. Oh, listen. The best is yet to come. We finna really fuck them up. We got so many great things in the works right now, man. Hey, you gotta, you gotta go to where, you know, like, like you call, like it's calling you. Your spirit is calling you. You gotta go to where whatever works for you. Like what state, city, um, the energy, the weather, you got to go with what works with you. Like for some reason, California works with me. I done stayed in Miami and everything. California works with me. You know, this, this like, it works with everything that I have going. From dealing with, you know what I'm saying, Hollywood writers on big projects, everything. Like this, Cali just works. It works for me. That's right. Hey, listen here. Guess what? If I run for president, it'd be something real simple, man. This shit gonna be simple. I'm gonna simplify everything. Either you this way or you that way. Either you in or you out. You know what I'm saying? And if you out, cut your head off. Off with your head. <laughs> I'll definitely be a dictator. You know what I'm saying? I'll be a dictator, man. It's sorry to say that, but I'm used to running the household. That's how you run the household. Yeah. But what's up with y'all, man? How y'all feeling? Um, what up, though? Let me hit that wave. Miss M. Monroe, what's happening with you? How everybody feeling, first of all, man? I'm feeling good. The weather is beautiful here. I wonder if I can tap it so y'all... Oh, yeah, I can't tap it so y'all can see it. But the weather is beautiful here. Um, so amazing. The mountains is right over there. I'm getting fresh juice. You know, if you haven't got no fruit or no juice today, go take your ass and get some fruit or some juice. If you have fruit in your house, I wouldn't care if it's an apple. Cut up that apple, eat the apple, eat you some fruit today. That's what it's about, the health and hustle lifestyle. You have to have your health together. Like, you got to have your health together. You know what I'm saying? And you, you got to think, I'm, you talking to a person who used to, I used to sip lean all the time. I was one of the first 
like before the wave even caught, I was a big lean sipper in the city. Like I used to take lean in the strip clubs. You know what I mean? Like I got off of drinking alcohol from sub, uh, substituting it with lean. I used to buy cases of lean that time. When this one cases was cheap, nobody even knew about lean. Nobody was drinking lean like that. It was just a Southern thing. It hadn't made it up here. You know what I'm saying? Up to Michigan, it hadn't made it up there. Oh, that real coconut water, yeah. Yeah, that real coconut water is good, hell yeah. Oh yeah, I need real coconut water so bad down there. I uh, need you to ship me a case. No problem, let me know. Let me know what you need, I got you. Let me know what you need. You know, because we on that coconut water, we on fresh juices, everything. You see, I'm out here two guns up. I made two today, I'm like, fuck that, I gotta drink two down, because after the fast, this feels so good to break the fast with this, uh, with these juices. Jeff Belly, what's happening? Yeah, so you got to make sure to go to where, you know what I'm saying, you can win that. That's just like a player on the game, in the, in the NBA. The player in the NBA, these players, they're going to trade and go to the team that they think they can win a championship at. You got to think the same way. So if you're in a state that isn't, you know what I'm saying, like serving your purpose or nothing like that, then you probably need to move to another state. Don't be afraid to pick up and leave. Don't be afraid to leave somewhere and go set up shop somewhere else. You know why that came so easy to me? That came so easy to me because we used to pick up and set up shop in different states. You know what I mean? We, I understood that. That's why as a youngster and a lot of people from Detroit, like we was prone to pick up and go set up shop in other states and get money. That's why I, shit, man, I done stayed in Florida, Atlanta, Arizona, um, here, and fucking uh, Detroit. Because you know what? I always believed in picking up. You know, and I would even take my kids. I'll take my kids. I'm like, come on, man, we gonna move. Y'all come out here with me now. Y'all come, you know what I'm saying? Because I need them to experience, you know, other things. I need them to experience different environments, different cultures. Like, you need to broaden your horizon. You have to broaden your horizon. You gotta be able to open this mind up. What you think this mind is just meant for you to see the blocks of Detroit or the blocks or wherever? You know, like even if you just been stuck in LA all your life, you need to still experience other things. The world is huge, the world is big. Now I'm finna take this shit overseas. Like wait, wait till this show really get to cracking. Once this show really get to cracking, not just this, I'm actually working on an actual show. So if you had to think of a show, if I had to describe the show, which is going to be the Health and Hustle show. It's like if you would combine 50 Cent meets Anthony Bourdain. If y'all know who Anthony Bourdain is. That's what the fucking show going to be. You know what I'm saying? MDQ join. Who is MDQ? What does MDQ stand for? Yeah, so don't be afraid to take your show on the road. Stop thinking that. You are held down and restricted by the life that you live in right now. Figure out what's best for you. Because I'm going to tell you right now, if your environment is crippling you, you know, and if you read the hustle code, I tell you that we're not products of our environment. Don't allow your environment to dictate your mentality and your mindset. Just because all motherfuckers doing is spinning, trapping, killing, oh, million dollar queen, woo. Let's go, Million Dollar Queen. Now I'm finna, I'm finna upgrade you. Guess what? We gonna take that M and turn that bitch to a B. Now you the Billion Dollar Queen. Let's go. <laughs> you know, we working on the tequila right now. Loaded cuz. We working on the tequila right now as we speak, man. We got shit set up, man. I'm trying to break the doze down with this one. Because the thing about it is, like, we were gonna do something and it was, it was at a smaller level. So I wanted to take this shit to the next level. So we're uh, talking with investors and everything right now, trying to get, you know what I'm saying? Trying to just at least be able to throw at least a half a million in it. You know, to be able to really get these orders like we want to. Yeah, you believe and receive it, that's it. If we don't believe and receive, what do, what, what's going on here? If you don't, if you not your biggest supporter and your biggest fan, like you can't expect other people to be. Here's my thing right here. 
I released my book, you know, because I know that I had some shit I needed to get off, off my mind, but I needed to share with the people. Just that and doing that service, it means a lot to me. So if people support me, that's love. Angry Black, what's happening? So people support me, that's love, and I appreciate that, right? But I'm not twisting nobody's arm behind their back to get the information. Like, nobody should have to twist your arm behind your back for you to get some money. Nobody should have to convince you to get some money. Nobody should have to convince you to better yourself. If you have to go and wake somebody up every day, like, come on, man, you know we got to go do that and do that, then that means they don't want it. You feel me? That means that they don't want it. You can't want it more than the next person. You can't want for them, you know what I'm saying, more than they want for themselves. That'd be our problem a lot of times. That why, that's the reason we waste a lot of energy, resources, everything, because we're trying to invest in people who don't want to progress. You can't invest in nobody who don't want to progress, who don't want to get to the next level. See, I'm fully committed and dedicated on getting to the next level, and people who are vibing on the same level gravitate to me like that. And then we rocking out and we making this shit happen. That's the bottom line. You know what I'm saying? Shouldn't nobody tell you to be healthy, to stay healthy. Unless you're just ignorant and you don't know anything about health. Now then a person has to teach you about health. Or you have to try to learn about health. You should be learning about your own health. Nobody should have to twist your arm behind the back to tell you to stay healthy. If you know eating something, drinking something, doing something, smoking something, whatever, ain't good for you. You either better know how to limit that shit, balance that shit, um, check it, and correct it. You feel me? And then get yourself healthy, man. Why you? Listen, here's my thing right here. Who in the fuck want to fuck with somebody who unhealthy? I don't want to deal with nobody who unhealthy. I don't want nobody who, you know what I'm saying, who's like, yeah, who is proudly unhealthy. That's why sometimes I talk to people, I'm like, uh, are you into health? And then some people will pause and be like, ah, not really. I'll be like, look how stupid that sounds. How stupid does that sound? That means you're not into life if you're not into health. If you're not into health, then you're not into life because health is living. You know what I'm saying? Uh, unhealthy is and toxic, fucking all of that shit, negative, whatever it is, that's dying, that's death. So we want to promote life around here, man. You know what I mean? I'm drinking out. Listen, I'm popping two bottles today, man. It used to be champagne bottles. That's why I was telling motherfuckers, listen, you talking to a person who used to drink all of the lean. I used to hide all of the lean. The act, when the act was out, what's up, cuz? When the act was out, I was the one who had the cases of act. I had cases of that shit, man. Motherfuckers to tell you. I was bringing that shit into the clubs and the two liters, everything. They're like, what's that? I'm like, man, it's just some drink. That, that got me off of liquor. I didn't want no more liquor once I was drinking lean. I was drinking all that lean, all that shit. I was getting the pints of that shit, bro, for the cheap, for the low. Oh, no, this is this is my concoction that I blended together um, with charcoal, lemonade, um, aloe vera, uh, watermelon, mint, lime, cilantro, celery, Man, it's a whole lot of shit in here. Jackie, what's happening, my baby? Come on, Jackie, let's say a prayer right now, because I know you in tune. You know what I'm saying? The Creator made the Creator bless us and keep blessing us with everything. You know what I mean? And keep our minds open to receive as we give. Amen. Let's get it. That's my girl Jackie on there. I know you ready to, ready to drop something. Yeah, oh, you literally ordered that? Yeah, that's it. That's what's up. <laughs> you know, and you know we going to keep it lit. But no, so, and Jackie, I see you've been on your health journey too. So, yo, you got to stay healthy. That's the key. You remember from us just hiking that running and shit. Yeah. We off that juice. You know we're doing a fast, Jackie, once a week. So we do a fast from Sunday night's last meal to 4 p.m. today. So I just broke my fast, so I decided to jump back on the live. Great Manifestation Mondays. Break my fast, show the juice. Yeah, every day, we got to stay on the health. Uh, thanks, baby. You looking good, too, you know? You know we going to keep it G around here. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but 
But the key to this is this right here, man. How bad do you want it? How healthy do you want to be? Like, do you want your life to be simple or you want to complicate your life? Health problems and issues will complicate your life. Oh, you just broke your fast at 3 p.m. Yeah, we don't want a court. Absolutely, we don't want a court. Absolutely. I want everybody around me to win. I want everybody that I fuck with to win. And I want everybody to be healthy, successful, everything. Like, it's not hard. We make it harder than it has to be. And that's our problem. We making it harder than it has to be. It doesn't have to be this hard. Life doesn't have to be this hard. If you make a mistake, a lesson should be learned from your mistake. Now, if you make a mistake and, and life teaches you that lesson, and then it has to reteach you again, reteach you again, then you're going to keep setting yourself back. But now, pay attention to what I'm about to say. I want everybody to pay attention to what I'm about to say right now. Now, if you fuck up now, that shit going to take you 10 steps back. It's so critical right now. If you fuck up now, it's going to take you 10 steps back. And that's a fact. You have to, you know what I'm saying? Like, like, like make sure that you're making the right moves. You can't do a lot of the same shit you was doing before. Yeah, I wanted to come on here and kick it with the people, man. I love coming on here kicking it with the people. Like I say, I'm, I'm telling you, I'm going to kick off a hell of a show. I'm actually doing a traveling show. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be the Health and Hustle show. It's going to be a traveling show to where I bring awareness to different areas, especially the urban areas, and I give them an experience. You're going to be able to see an experience. Like, we probably go do some far out shit to help with, you know what I'm saying? Like, like mental awareness, stress, everything that we doing in the hoods. You got to think in the hoods is like this right here. Guess what it is? Wake up. You know what I'm saying? If you got to work, you got to work. Other than that, what you doing? You eating unhealthy, you going to the Coney, or you eating some shit that y'all cooking in the house that's unhealthy as hell, noodles, all that shit right there. We got to change our diets. We have to change our diets. You know what I'm saying? We have to change our diets. That's mandatory. You feel me? So you got to change our diets, man. If you don't change your diet, it's like not changing your lifestyle. If you're eating unhealthy, you're moving unhealthy, you're doing unhealthy things, man, listen here. Knock on wood, I ain't trying to go back and do none of the old shit I was doing that wasn't working for me. Problem is, too many of us, is we're stuck in a fucking cycle of repeating things that ain't even fucking working for us. It didn't work for you the first time. You think it's going to work for you the 10th time? Fuck no. Nah. If it didn't work for you the first time, that shit probably not going to work for you. You know what I'm saying? No times because it ain't meant for you. And I ain't talking about good things like business ventures or whatever you're doing. I'm talking about shit that you know that's bad for you. It could be a person. You could be in love with a person right now that's bad for you. But you still, you know what I'm saying, running back to them or fucking with them again. You know it didn't work the first time. You trying to go back again? Why, what changed? Tell me what changed that brought you back to them again. Like, you know what? It'll be different this time around. No, you know it's going to be different. It's going to be a different lesson your dumb ass learned. I'm saying it's going to be a different lesson your dumb ass learned. That's the thing. See, they don't want me to get on here and go to church because I ain't going to hold nothing back. You know what I'm saying? I ain't going to hold nothing back. I'm going to give it to you. Like we say, what we tell them, dog? We're going to give them a scripture. We'll get their ass the scripture for real. We'll get your ass the scripture. <laughs> y'all don't want y'all don't want to put me on no podium. I'm gonna tell you because I'm gonna read motherfuckers they rights. <laughs> Straight up. Like they say, the truth, the truth don't need no support. The truth can't be shaken. You know what I'm saying? And the truth, you would never hear the truth break up in no parts at all. The falsehood dismantles. A lie will get broke down and dismantled like that. When you say you was over there, but you wasn't over there, but you was there and it changes up. The truth doesn't change. The truth is the only thing that doesn't change its form. So why wouldn't you want to be as close to the truth as you can be? The truth is the shit. You know what I'm saying? I want to be the truth. You feel me? I want to be the truth. When the motherfucker come, I want to gladly say, no, nah, yeah, I did that. No problem. What's going on? You know what I'm saying? You know? Except for court, baby. We, but we ain't going back to court. 
<laughs> the only place where the truth ain't the shit is in court. <laughs> only place where the truth, only place where y'all won't hear the truth come out my mouth is in court. <laughs> Shake the fuck up, man. You know what I'm saying? Weird. Listen here, man. I got a thing with authority. I don't respect authority. I hate fucking authority, man. Like, get the fuck out of here. You know what I mean? Like, I don't... Uh-uh. I'm not complying with authority at all. You know what I'm saying? I have a, a serious grudge against authority because I understand that you put people in a position of power, they're going to abuse their power no matter who they are. They're going to abuse their power. Just like if you take a person that's not used to money, give them some money, which is going to put them in a position of power, you're going to see a total fucking different person. That's to people who aren't used to money. But people who are used to money will always, like, I've been fucking on money and chasing money and getting money since I was younger. So quite naturally, I already have a boss mentality a boss, you know what I'm saying, attitude. So nothing impresses me. A person can't pull up in a car and I'm like, wow, look at that. You know what I'm saying? A, a bad chick. I can see a bad chick and I ain't going to be fucking, you know what I'm saying, like like a, a fucking dog and you're lapping it up or whatever. No, I'm going to just be like, oh, yeah, she look good. She bad as hell. But I understand it because I done had them before. I done had the bad chicks, I done had the whips, I done had the cribs, I done had money. So at the end of the day, it takes a hell of a lot to impress me. And you know what impresses me nowadays? The real shit, the truth, things with substance. That's what wows me to I'm like, wow, information, things that are really like have longevity to them, impact, something that I'm like, damn, dog, that was smart. That was innovative. That was creative. The way I motherfucker in the hustle code, if you open the hustle code up and scan them QR codes and it takes you to, you know what I'm saying, my songs. That's innovative. Nobody doing that shit. Straight up, and I'm going to stand on that. Ain't nobody doing that. Ain't none, none, of the, none of the billionaire artists, none of that shit. They didn't do that. They didn't, they didn't think of that. You know who thought of that? Tate. So don't forget that. So when people come up and you see somebody else doing that, because they're going to do it. So when they do that shit, they're like, nah, they ain't do that. They weren't the first to do that. Even if they're on bigger platforms, it's going to make it seem like they did it. But they didn't. Tape did that shit first. You know what I'm saying? I did it first. And I'm speaking on myself in third person. Yeah. Because I'm thinking from a writer's standpoint. Yeah. <laughs> man, it's all love, man. You know what I'm saying? I love jumping over here, talking flat, talking a little shit, man. We're going to turn up in a second. So I'm going to be turning this shit up, dog. So y'all get ready for it. Because y'all seeing me in chill mode right now. I'm just handling a lot of business behind the scenes and shit. We got so much legit, like, real business going on. Like, hundreds and hundreds of M's type shit I'm talking about working on. You know, anybody that know me, they know if this motherfucker going to work, if this brain is going to work, then a check, a huge chest check is about to be produced. Don't let me sit down and, and, and think of some shit. When I sit down and think and really put something into action... I ain't talking about no little change. We working on big shit. Me and my guy who we, the shit we put together, we talking about big numbers, man. We just fucking around right now, but watch when this shit hit. When it hit, you gonna be like, God damn, dog, we saw him working on that shit from the beginning. So that's what it's about. So pick something you can work on, stick to it, and you gotta keep pushing it. Don't let, this what, this what people fuck up at because you allow the opinions of people around you who ain't got shit. Motherfucking, you know what I'm saying? Deter you from staying on top of what you're doing. You know, I remember I listened to somebody, right? I was finna release a certain song. And I listened to somebody. And they told me, nah, man, don't go with that song. You should go with that other one. That other one got more momentum with it, blah, 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 blah. And which was cool. Both good songs, right? But right after that, fucking... Wayne, Drake, and Nicki dropped a song on the same fucking beat that I did a song on years ago. I knew that bitch was out of here. I knew it was gone. But me listening to other people, me listening to somebody else's opinion that didn't even see my vision, what I was thinking about with the song. You see what I'm saying? Like, nah, you can't do that. Stop letting people fucking deter you from your motherfucking destiny. 
Because when you get that thought, when you get that download, you get that vision, that vision is strictly for you. It's not for them to see. It's for you to act on. And then the world will see. I don't give a fuck if a motherfucker think I'm corny for drinking juice on live. Whatever the cow, I don't care. I don't give a shit. Like I come on here, I pop my shit. I know who I am. I'm comfortable with who I am. You know what I'm saying? And, I, and I'm enlightening people. I don't have to get on here with the negative shit. It ain't nothing to get negative. I can get negative as a motherfucker. I can go and make negative songs all day long. I can get on here and talk negative. I can talk all the shit in the world. You know what I'm saying? You know I got, listen, you know I got a whole archive of fire, cuz. And we gonna jump in that lab. That's why I say, man, we finna turn up, man. I'm finna, I'm finna pull the back-to-back -back double R's out, man. We just finna, we finna go stupid here in a second, bro. Like, straight up. Because I know it's time now. You know, like like I put in uh, Evolution of a Hustler. You can't serve no wine before it's time. But now it's time to get ready to serve this shit. You know what I mean? It's getting close. It's time to get ready to serve this shit, man. I want to close out this year. <laughs> crazy. I want to close out this year. Crazy. You know what I'm saying? If you ain't thinking about closing. Okay, so listen. The fourth quarter of any game. Whether it's NFL, fucking NBA, whatever it is. The fourth quarter is the most crucial quarter, right? It's because this is the closing quarter. You are approaching, we're in the closing quarter. So with this quarter, the fourth quarter, you need to be fucking going hard. Because this is what's going to carry you off into the next fucking year. Y'all got to understand that this is what's going to carry us into the next fucking year. And if you dragging your ass now, what the fuck you think you're going to drag into the next year? This is the fourth quarter. This time to really focus up and say, okay, I'm lining all this shit up to do this, do this, do this. You need to be having some action, man. You need to be having some action. Straight up. If you ain't got no action going, if you ain't got no motion, you better figure out how to create some motion. You better tie yourself to the right people that's going to help assist you in creating that motion. Don't drag the wagon, for real. You drag a wagon, an empty wagon, make all the noise in the goddamn world. Blueprint, absolutely. That's what you got to do. You got to come up with your blueprint and map it out to say, you know what? I want to have X amount of dollars. I want to do this right here. I'm about to put this in effect. Let me start this business. Let me register this business. Let me see what products I need. It's, remember, we, at this day and age, you got to have a product or a service. And you got to have a, like uh, your boy Gary V say, a digital uh, imprint. You got to have a, you got to have something digital going on, bro. You know what I'm saying? TJ, what's happening, my baby? What's up, Neff? Yeah, but here's the thing right here. Oh, Diddy, what's happening? You late. Yeah, so here, so my thing is this right here. This is the fourth quarter. We got to finish up strong. So in like any game of the fourth quarter, motherfuckers like, look, team, they huddle up. They say, look, we got to go hard. You know what I'm saying? You check such and such, shut him down so he can't score, but you go score. We need you to knock that three down. We need you to do this. We need you to go long because I'm about to shoot this bitch to you. Come on. We need to go up another touchdown. Yo, if you ain't fucking thinking like that, then how you thinking? Man, we got to close. I ain't going over into the fourth. We in the fourth quarter and you you got more complaints, more sorrows, more. No, nah, fuck that, man. The bag is here. It's for you to get. Now, you can be distracted by a thousand fucking uh, bottles of baby oil if you want to. You can allow that to be your conversation if you want to. If you want to keep talking about Diddy freak offs and. And how, how he was having it this way and that way and what he was doing with that baby oil. If you worried about what that man was doing with that baby oil, hey, you fucked up. You need to be worried about what you going to do with baby oil or none, whatever the fuck you want to do. If you, listen, you can take baby oil, <laughs> coconut oil, whatever you want, you know what I'm saying? They, listen here, they can't fuck with me if they come to my shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to have coconut oil. <laughs> Oh, listen, but I ain't going to have no thousand bottles of that shit either. That thing was really going crazy, right? But what I'm saying is this right here. Yo, you got to understand this, right? 
If you worried about that man and his baby oil, you got a serious fucking problem. <laughs> if 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 Diddy and his baby oil is more, uh, hey, what's up, Trees? If Diddy and his baby oil is more of a topic to you than what you doing in this fourth quarter, how you closing out this fourth quarter to make your life better going into the new year, you fucked up in the head. That man and that baby oil should not be on your mind that much. What should be on your mind is how you bettering yourself every day. You know what I'm saying? What you doing to win? What you doing to go to the next level? Oh, you're going to have arguing over from Panama. Hey, we got to be careful with these holes for real. I would have not had no baby on, I'll tell you that, because that shit ain't even healthy. You know what I'm saying? As much money as he getting, somebody could have taught him and said, hey, man, you got to get the best oils you can find. <laughs> I think when he got the cheapest shit that's in every hood, in every hood store. Hell no, nah, man. But yeah, it's all love, man. That's what y'all got to do, man. We got to we gotta get better as a people. You know what I'm saying? We got to get better as a people. I swear. But yeah, so... If you you got to be thinking strong in this fourth quarter though. You got to finish up strong. We got to finish up strong. Everybody that's on this live right now, listen. Please finish up strong. See what you can do to make yourself better every day. How many more days we got left? What is it about? Let me see something. 30, 69. What we got about 90 more days left? Something like that. 120 something. So you know, like we got to we we got to finish strong, man. We got to finish this year out strong. I'm trying to close this year out strong. But watch the turn up. Watch my turn up. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm showing y'all, you work through the pain. Just like when you're working out, you have to push through the pain. It's the same thing as if you're going through stress, struggling, whatever, through your life. You got to push through the pain. You know what I'm saying? Like, you, uh-uh, I don't even want to feel that shit. I'm going to push through the pain to get me to that next level, to get those results, that progress. I'm pushing through the pain. Now, watch how this shit unfold. You know? Everybody going through something right now. Nobody want to hear the next person's sad story. I don't want to hear the next person's sad story because I got one. Shit, you got one. Everybody got a fucking sad story. But you got to figure it out. Nobody is coming to say, you got to figure it out. You know what I'm saying? You keep your faith strong. Keep your faith and your belief in your creator, your higher power, your source energy. But at the same time, faith without works is dead. You got to remember that faith without works is dead. If you're not getting off your ass doing something, but you're constantly scrolling and flipping and watching TV and being entertained, that's going to be your downfall. If you're going to do that, you might as well get your ass up and be a comedian. Or go ahead and start your YouTube channel to where you do reaction videos. If you're just going to be sitting around and watching TV, or if you're just going to be scrolling through shit, create your channel, do reaction videos. You know what I'm saying? Or go out and cut some grass or shovel some snow when that shit come out or whatever. Because guess what? Those fucking videos is getting fucking millions and millions of views, thousands of dollars. That shit working too. Like if, if you want to do that, whatever the case is. Before, listen, before shit fall on me or shit break and I, I don't have no leeway to do nothing. I don't have nothing. I'm going to go make something happen. You know? I'm going to go make something happen. Like that's that's real life. You know what I mean? And we all going through something that ain't, you know what I mean? It ain't nothing personal, but guess what? It's a way to bounce back, you know? So I'm going to enjoy my juice. I done popped enough shit with y'all. Appreciate y'all. It's great manifestation. Mondays, y'all got to come. Y'all got to start attending the fast. We fast from Sunday night, the last meal Sunday night, to 4 p.m. Monday afternoon. It's great manifestation Mondays. Let's manifest. Let's make this shit happen. The year is closing. How are you closing it out? Let's go, man. Salute. Health and hustle. Tap in and get that hustle code uh, at DetroitKingTape.com. Let's go, man. Peace and love.